this is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time for another commentary. This time I will be commentating on one of Batman's articles on his Irish Gamer Sucks blog. Now remember that video titled The Irish Gamer Sucks blog sucks which I made last year. Even though I still stick to most of what I said in that video, there is one thing that I regret. I shouldn't have called Batman a moron or an asshole in that video. That was very immature of me and I do apologize for that. Which is why in this video I will not be using words like that at all. Now originally I wasn't going to make a commentary on one of Batman's articles. Unless he makes a new one that I can properly commentate on. But considering the fact that Chris Burs very rarely makes videos on movies, I'm not gonna wait anymore. And I'm aware that this article is five months old. But the reason I'm commenting on it is because it has a lot of major issues that need to be addressed. And that's what I'm doing right now. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. By the way, Chris, you are late. We're well into the summer movie season. Avengers Ace of Ultron has already made billion dollars worldwide. Mad Max Fury Road has surprised everyone. And we have our first major flop with Tomorrowland. You should have posted this in like April. You know, this is actually a good point. Yes, it would have made more sense if we posted this video earlier. Unfortunately, this is the only good point in this entire article. So the first movie on this list is Minions. And yes, the little guys from Despicable Me get their own movie. And rightly so, because they're so funny. Uh, and the trailer looks really good. So who knows what they're going to do with this one. Uh, it should be a nice family movie. And should be funny, because I enjoyed watching these guys in Despicable Me. First movie is Minions. I have not seen either of the Despicable Me movies, so my interest in this spin-off is non-existent. Maybe one day I'll sit down and watch all three. If you haven't seen the Despicable Me movies, then why the hell did you bring up this new Minions movie? I'm sorry, but I find that pretty pointless. Well, granted, movies are supposed to stand on their own. But you should at least give the movie Despicable Me to a chance because I thought it was very fucking awesome. Also, Batman, wouldn't it have been a good idea to watch the Despicable Me movies before you made this article? That actually could help you out making a decent argument. Alright, so next up is Jurassic World, and this looks like a great movie that's coming out this summer. I didn't care for the uh, past installments of Jurassic Park. Enjoyed the first one, but not the sequels. And it looks like this one is going to revitalize the franchise uh, with the new story. It's got new uh, dinosaur breed that spawns out of the island. Chris Pratt. Looks like they did a great job on this one, so I just hope the movie is equally as good. Next is Jurassic Park. Please be good. Chris says he didn't like the previous sequels. You're not alone in thinking this. He hopes it's good. Next. So basically you had nothing to say here. What was the point in bringing up that entry if you had nothing to say? Also, since my interest in San Andreas are very limited, I am not going to commentate. One when Bachtan talks about that, I'm just skip over that. Alright, next up is Ted 2. How can you go wrong with a teddy bear placed in adult situations? I really enjoyed the first one. I'm sure there's tons of places where you can go with the second installment. Uh, the trailer looks great. It's always nice to see Mark Wahlberg interacting with a uh, little teddy bear from the uh, creative mind of the same guy who did Family Guy. So, yeah, this one should be uh, a real big hit. Next is tier 2. Oh, gross. Seth MacFarlane shouldn't be allowed in a movie set after a million ways to die in the West. We get it, you wanted to be blazing saddles. You are not Mel Brooks. Wait, what's up with this poster he's showing? Myla Kunis is there even though she's not in the movie. The trailers and the cast list confirm this. Is this a fan-made poster? It must be as the top says the second motion picture from the creator of Family Guy. Either that or he's pretending million ways didn't happen. 
bores. It's, it's going to be great. And there's creative mind behind Family Guy. I'm going to go left now. And it might be a long time before I stop. Wow, there are so many problems that I hear with the paragraph. I'm going to start with the main problem I hear with it. First of all, you're in no condition to say whether or not someone deserves to be near a movie set. Saying Seth MacFarlane doesn't deserve to be near a movie set is fucking disgusting. And it's not much different from death threats. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fucking hate a million ways to die in the West as well. And I agree that Seth MacFarlane isn't capable of making live action movies. But it's still unacceptable to say that someone doesn't deserve to be near a movie set. The fact that you have to go this low to make a point is truly fucking pathetic. Oh, and also, you're laughing at Chris Porsche because he says that Seth MacFarlane is a comedic genius. Way too go on insulting the fans of Family Guy. By saying that you're laughing at Chris Porsche for liking Seth MacFarlane, you aren't just insulting him, you are insulting every fan of Seth MacFarlane. I'm shocked that you have to go this low in order to make a point. Another movie I'd like to see is Ant-Man. Now, I know people are like, Ant-Man, what the hell is this? This is another Marvel movie that's coming out this year. Uh, and, you know, I with Marvel movies, the last couple that have come out, I'm like, oh, this is going to suck. Like Guardians of the Galaxy. I thought that would just be stupid. But I was actually really, I, I think that was one of the best movies of 2014. So, yeah, I, I guess Marvel is doing something right. So, I, I know I see Ant-Man, I'm like, oh, this looks so stupid. But this could turn out to be a good movie, knowing Marvel's track record. So, I guess only time will tell. Next is Ant-Man. His costume really makes me want a big budget Kamen Rider movie. I know people are like, Ant-Man, what the hell is this? Are you speaking for fans? Cause at this point, I'm pretty sure most people know who Ant-Man is. The trailers have been out for a while. He thought Guardians of the Galaxy was going to be stupid. You're a fool, Chris. Then again, I saw so many people claim it was going to bomb. Hopefully, they're not repeating the same mistake with Ant-Man. Otherwise, Kraus will go extinct. Blah, blah, Marvel track record. No mention of Avengers, Chris. Way to go, button. Way to go on totally taking Chris Bors out of context. When he said, what the hell is this, he wasn't referring to the amount of trailers, but referring to the fact that Ant-Man is an obscure Marvel character. And he is right, Ant-Man is very obscure. Maybe you should do your own research before you make your quote-unquote article. And I don't mean just when he makes a bad point, you should also do research to find out when he makes good points as well. But you aren't gonna do that, but he made a very good point here. The fact that you are letting your hatred of Chris Burns blind you from acknowledging when he makes good points is very fucking pathetic. And then you go around insulting Chris Burns. Calling him a fool for not expecting Guardians of the Galaxy to be good. But then, aren't you forgetting something? Forgetting one very important thing? Back when Guardians of the Galaxy was new and only the trailers were out, almost nobody expected that movie to be good. A lot of people expected the movie to be very fucking dumb. And I don't blame them because a talking raccoon almost never works in a movie. Or any talking anyone in a movie for that matter. But when those people actually saw the movie they were pleasantly surprised. I was one of the few people who thought it was going to be fucking awesome since the start. So back then, if you're going to call Chris Bors a fool, you might as well call everyone else a fool who thought the movie was going to be dumb. The fact that you called Chris Bors a fool only shows how little you know about what people were expecting back in the day. And the last movie, and probably my most uh, anticipated movie for the summer, is Pixels with Adam Sandler. 
Now anything video game related, I'm all over. And this one has arcade video game references, and it has Donkey Kong and uh, Galact uh, Galaga that I saw. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, this one looks great. And it's been a long time since we've had a really good Adam Sandler movie. So I just hope this one is good and, and not stupid like some of his past um, movies that he's done. But yeah, it, it, the trailer looks phenomenal. And if the movie is anything like the trailer, I can't wait for this one. Next is Pixels. Stop. No, it's an Adam Sandler movie. It's going to be garbage. I don't care if this has all the video game characters. I don't care if it's someone gets... Amatiru, Chrono, Banja Kasui, and Wanderet. It's going to be shit. Probably my most anticipated movie of this summer. Hey guys, I'm Totsa Gamer. How? How can anyone be excited for an Adam Sandler movie? It has Donkey Kong and Gal Gaga and Aisa. And someone doesn't mention Pac when despite him being front in the center of the poster and in most of the trailers. Good Adam Sandler movie? That is oxymoron. Before anyone points out Pan's Drunk Love, that is not an Adam Sandler movie. That is a Paul Thomas Anderson movie that just happens to have Adam Sandler. There's a difference. I just hope it's good and not stupid. You are naive. Now let's see, you are... A blind hater of Chris Sports, Seth MacFarlane, and now have found out that you're a blind hater of Adam Sandler as well. The fact that you blindly hate so many people is fucking pathetic. Saying that the movie's gonna suck no matter what, simply because Adam Sandler is in it? It's very fucking ignorant. I mean seriously. Now don't get me wrong, I agree that he is a terrible actor. But the good movies he's been in are not worth ignoring. You know what Happy Gilmore and Billy Madison have in common? They are both great Adam Sandler movies that have gotten well-deserved praise. These movies might be early on in his career, but they are still worth pointing out. And how can you ignore the other problems with Pixels? I have seen the movie Pixels myself, and yes, it does so. But Adam Sandler is far from the worst part about this movie. How come you didn't mention Kevin James? How come you didn't mention the fact that the video game characters appearing in the movie are nothing more than eye candy? Oh that's right, because you are a close-minded Adam Sandler hater who isn't willing to give movies a proper chance simply because Adam Sandler is in it. But the worst statement in this entire paragraph is when you say Drunk Punch Love is not an Adam Sandler movie. It's a Thomas Anderson movie that just happens to have Adam Sandler in it. There's a difference. No, there fucking isn't. How the hell is Drunk Punch Love not an Adam Sandler movie? I mean, Adam Sandler plays the fucking protagonist of that movie. You are only saying that because you don't want to acknowledge that there is a good Adam Sandler movie out there. Truly fucking pathetic. This just proves how fucking close-minded you are. I mean, I knew for a fact that you were close-minded when it came to your hatred of Chris Spores. But the fact that you are close-minded regarding your hatred of other people as well is fucking pathetic and I feel sorry for you. Alright, so there's my list. There's my most anticipated movies for 2015. Wait, that's it? That was only six movies. What happened to Tan? Have you gotten that lazy? But Tan, has it ever occurred to you that maybe Chris Bors is busy with his life? I'm mean, sure he is a YouTube partner. But he could have a job outside YouTube, I don't know. And nor do I care to know since it's none of my business. But my point stands. Chris Bors might have a job in real life. He just doesn't talk about it in his videos because he likes to keep that personal. And I understand that completely. So it has nothing to do with laziness. And the fact that he listed so few movies is for the same reason you stated by the beginning of this article. It is because at that point we were deep into the summer. So all Chris Bors could have done was to list the leftovers of the summer movies. Wow, it's really bad 
Well, you get refuted by your own points. This is pretty much the end. Even though it's been a while, it's still safe to say that Chris has terrible taste in movies. And to Friday then? Let me tell you something back then. The only people who say that someone has terrible taste in movies are elitists who like to make their opinions seem superior to everyone else's. I'm not calling you an elitist. No. But the fact that you have to act like one is pretty fucking pathetic. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This article is fucking horrible. And not only because Bachter was passing Chris's video. Also because he went as far as to say that Seth MacFarlane doesn't deserve to be anywhere near a movie set, which I still find very fucking disgusting. And that the movie's gonna suck simply because Adam Sandler is in it. The article is just full of nitpicky bullshit. There is one thing that the girl said to Bachtan. Why do you still bother with this guy? There is no point in continuing making articles on Chris Bors. Back in 2007-2010, you made very good articles against Chris Bors and had good reasons to be against his videos. But he has improved a lot since then. And nowadays you can only either be redundant or nitpicky when it comes to talking about the guy. I seriously think it's time to retire that blog. Most people who criticized Chris Bors in the past have moved on from the subject of Chris Bors since 2012. But then you should join these people. Now is this my final video on Bachtan? No, not even close. If Bachtan makes another shitty article on one of Chris Bors' videos, which I'm sure he will again, I guarantee it that I will make a commentary on it. But only if I have enough knowledge on the subject, and since I am placed a movie fan, and that name is there just for the hell of it, I was in the condition to make this commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Well guys, that's all I could say. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.